and we are good to start if you're ready. All right. Uh, good morning for the record. I'm Chris Young, chair of the HTC Sign Advisory Committee. Let's confirm access. Members, please respond with an I when I call your name. Ben Norman. Here. Kevin Kuster. Here. Paul Wolf. Here. And staff, Keita, uh, uh, Kenny McCarthy. Uh, I am here. Thank you. All right, this open meeting of the SAC has been conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020. That order allows public bodies to convene remotely so long as public access to deliberations is reasonably provided. This meeting is convening via Zoom with video and audio recording and we're being broadcast via YouTube's, uh, the town's YouTube channel. This meeting will feature public comment. Materials provided to members for the meeting or provided during the meeting are available on the town's website. During the meeting, I'll introduce agenda topics and speakers. Please remember to mute your Zoom audio until your name's called. Let's direct comments and questions through the chair to avoid crosstalk and make taking of minutes easier. Votes will be conducted by roll call. With that said, we'll move on to the meeting. So we'll call the HDC Science Advisory Council meeting to order at 9 o'clock. 02 on 2 27th, 2021. Uh, do we have a motion to approve our agenda? I motion that. Second. Thank you, Paul. Um, before we take the vote, Mark Gatone, are you, you are present? Okay. Uh, so we'll take a roll call vote. Uh, ben? Aye. Kevin? Present. Paul? Hi. And Mark. Um, Mark, you're muted. Do you, you approve the agenda? Okay. Aye. 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 Thank you. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We have aye, an agenda. Yeah. So, can we have a motion to approve our minutes from the 420 meeting? Motion. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a second. Thank you, Paul. Ben, are you in favor? Favor. Kevin? Aye. Paul. Aye. And Mark. Aye. Okay. I am as well. Great. Um, is anybody on the line for general public comment not relating to any applications pending or future? Um, so, I, none. Okay. I, I am. Um, I'm here with the uh, Alliance to Protect Nantucket's Economy for the um, signs that we had up. Kathy had asked someone to join. Um, Okay, so that uh, we'll put that at the end because that's basically going to fall under enforcement. I believe you received a notice from Kathy. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll take you up at the end of the applications. Okay. Um. Great. Uh, and then actually, item two on the agenda is discussion of thirty-day political signs. Kathy not being here. That I'm not sure that relates to the the economy related signs. Um, does anybody on, without Kathy's direction here, does anybody want to comment on the 30 day political signs? That's on the board. Okay. Why don't we move on to the applications? Okay. So uh, the first application is the Nantucket Conservancy Foundation uh, on Russell's way. Do we have anybody here to represent that? Okay, Bruce. Yeah. Yes, I am Bruce Chabner. I'm a resident of uh, Wigwam and I'm the chair of the Homeowners Association on Wigwam. And uh, we proposed to, to put up a sign um, which says basically private way, drive slowly 15 miles per hour on Russell's way. And uh, we made arrangements to have that sign made by the sign company sign here in Nantucket. Uh, it will be black lettering on an off white background on a gray natural post um, at the entrance to, to Russell's way. And it's 12 by 18. And I think we've got this application signed off. 
the road is actually owned by uh, the Conservancy uh, Foundation, but um, it, uh, according to a, a, an agreement, it is uh, managed by the Homeowners Association, uh, which provides access to the homes on Wigwam. And um, we, we grade it and we're responsible for uh, repairing the road. And the sign is really intended to slow traffic down. There's a lot of beach traffic that uses the road in the summer. And sometimes that traffic is very fast and people are biking as well. Children are biking and people are, are walking. And, and uh, so we feel that the sign is necessary. Okay, uh, let us see. Kadeem, are you able to put that up on the screen or you have a Hey, I'm uh, sorry. I am I'm for some reason having issues with my Adobe, so I'm just trying to get it on the web page. Okay. Sorry about um, that. One moment. It's all right. Let me see if I can do something about that. Um, come on. Uh. Sorry about that, guys. Wow, come All on. Right. I am. This never happens when Kathy's running the meeting. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm the worst. All right. I think I have right. it. Sure. <laughs> right. Okay. There it is. Here's our little sign. Okay. And where is that located uh, on a site plan that we could see? Is it, I believe it's at the corner of uh, Russell's Way and the Milestone Road. This, this uh, mock-up is, I think, uh, a mock-up along the road, but uh, the intent is to put the sign up uh, at, the, at the corner. Yeah, there's no site plan that I see, only that locust map, which doesn't look marked. It might be a red dot at the very end of that locus, or in that locus. Oh, all right, let's Where, get into it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah. There yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's, it looks like it's down, Bruce, it's located in, it's not exactly on the uh, Milestone Road, but rather once you've No, it's not on the Milestone the Road, it's on our road, but at the turn. Uh, meaning it, where that dot is located is yeah. in, oh, oh, you know. Some Maybe some distance feet in or something like that. Okay. Uh, let me go down the board and see if there's any comments. Uh, Paul. Wait. Uh, Paul, do you have any? Yeah, I'm. I'm can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I really don't have any objections, especially if it's. 100 feet or so off of Milestone Road. Yeah, that's where okay. it is. It's, I thought it was more okay. like 50, but uh, that's OK. OK. Uh, Kevin? Uh, I have no concerns with the sign. I'm assuming it's probably no taller than four feet or so. I, right. Uh, yeah. But I have, I have no concerns. Okay. Okay, Ben. Um, I remember we looked at this quite a while ago and, and I think uh, I recall it was like very bright and there was, we, we had comments from, from probably six months ago, uh, but whatever those comments may have been, I think the applicant did a great job of toning this down and it looks great, so I'm good. Yeah, this is not the same okay. sign you saw before. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Thanks, uh, Mark. Um, can we look at the application just to address the questions that Kevin had? Uh, so 18, 12, 12. Yeah, I would, I would motion to approve providing the sign is no taller than 48 inches in height. And uh, I guess uh, I was gonna maybe note the post size, but I don't, I don't know. It can be a four by four or even a six by six is probably fine. Um, and uh, located at approximately 
50 to 100 feet off Milestone Road um, would be my motion. Second. All right. So, uh, Kevin, are you in favor? And Ben? Aye. Mark? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Okay, so Bruce, are you, uh, you understand it'll go up to tonight's meeting with the recommendation for approval at a 48 inch maximum post height and uh, a minimum of 50 feet off of the milestone road. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Yep. And could you could you guys just tell me who made that motion? Mark, uh, that was that was Mark. Yeah, Mark seconded by Paul. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay. It looks like we have the rest of the sign applications are all being represented by Plymouth Sign Company. Um, do we have a representative on the line from Plymouth yes, Sign I, Company? Um, yes. This is a um, Mike Cajano from Plymouth Sign Company. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Um, so before we look at them all, is there is this part of sort of a master plan? Are we looking at, or is each one of these just an individual uh, application? And it happens to be that you've got seven applications or eight. Yeah, it, it's a master plan, um, but I guess the procedure is the um, individual okay. for each one. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So uh, give us the the overview, and then we'll dive into each one individually. Okay, great, thank you. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm sure you know about the project that they put there right in the center of town. And what we want to do is we just want to name each building. Um, so these quarter boards, these carved signs that we're doing is going to go on the buildings um, over their entrance. So people know which, which building they're going to be sent to when they, when they check in. So I can go through each, each one. Um, they're all pretty much the same. Um, they're all carved signs, um, a hunter green background, matte finish, um, white lettering, and carved. Uh, so if you'd like, I can go through each application. And um, if you have any questions, we can go from there. Okay, so we're seeing basically the master plan here uh, on the screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on. Okay. At. Will there be, before we dive into this, one question? Okay. We're Sorry, looking at the sort of the, the master site plan that has all eight signs located on it. Um, yes. One question mm -hmm. Will there be other signage on these properties that at a, at a aren't future being um, shown as master elements that will be I, using the spaces at all? Not that I'm aware of. This is what they. This is what they've asked me to present. So, the way I'm, the way, I don't believe there's any more exterior signage for the building. And, okay. It, and that's what they they told me. Um, so I'm going to just assume that there. This is it. Okay. Um, First, right, I've got well, a let, follow up. I've got a go follow ahead, up Kevin. question. Uh, is all the current signage going to be removed? I believe. So yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I think to keep it clean, this is sort of a campus-like application, like the hospital or other multi-building, um, you know, Harbor House, White Elephant come to mind. Uh, um, so we should probably ask for this to be an application, to have a master application that says these are the signs for this property, albeit four different buildings, but this would limit other signage uh, from being allowed unless they come in and ask for permission. So, um, Mike, we might we might have to sort of ask for a blanket applic master application um, as a part of this. But let's review each sign uh, so we can see what they look like. So the first one up is the gatehouse. Okay, okay so house is the first one, and that is on uh, Four Chestnut Street. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to in, um, install uh, one six inch high by 56.8 inch carved sign. The 
It goes right on the building at their entrance to identify the entrance and the building. Okay. And can you, where is that located uh, on the elevation? Is that yeah. on the... It, the um, like I, I have a, I have okay, what we right. tried to do because when we talked to Kathy, um, she she wanted us to somewhat give you some some idea of you know what the building has looked like. It's in the middle of construction, as you can see from the photos, but there's some architectural drawings attached also um, that's showing the finished sign. I haven't been out there personally, to be honest with you, um, but it looks like it's going right over. Um, it's almost like a um, handicap ramp. And it looks like it's going right over the entrance there. Do you have Do you have the drawings in the photo? We are looking at the uh, elevation right now, and so it appears to be sort of on the um, the fascia of the correct porch. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Wow. Thank you. Got it. Uh, let's go down the board for comments. <laughs> it looks like. Let me ask another question that's just general. Are all the signs the same size as far as height? Is every sign a six inch high sign? And Correct. then just length. Okay. Correct. Got it. Um, let's see. Uh, Paul, do you have any questions or comments? Uh, excuse me. My question is the color of the signs. It, it, uh, it's a, a hundred green. I believe I um, sent you um, a color sample. It's a, it's a, it's a dark hunter green. Hunter Green? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the other question is back, uh, Kadeem, can you go back to the to the uh, front of the building? Yeah, right there. Is that over a door? Yes, that's what it seems to be, yes. Yes? Yeah, Paul, I believe there's a side entrance. When you go up that ramp, you would turn right into a doorway um, on that okay. gatehouse. I'm familiar with that. I building. mean, it would more logically be in front of the door on the on the, on the on the, to the right of there, looks more like the front door. Oh, sorry. Uh, you follow me? Yes, right. To the right of it, there's a front door with pillars, a little porch over it. I don't know which, if I were going there, where would I go into the building? I, I know that unless they've reconfigured the space, those two doors go into the same lobby. Same spot. As far okay. as I know. All right, fine. Then I don't, have any, I'm just, um, I'm not, I don't have any other questions. Perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin. Uh, I've I have a couple of concerns. There's no. Uh, there's an indication that any. Uh, uh, edging or edge banding of any kind is going to be determined. I think we need to know what that is. <laughs> it's unclear if it's what it's supposed to be. Uh, right. I think I think the uh, I think the font is going to be awfully awfully hard to do a carving of. I the uh, uh, thin strokes are very very thin for anybody to carve. I'm not sure how that would work if um, the uh, and I think we should just confirm the green color on all of these. Uh, okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, those, to, are, those are my two. So my, the first question would be yes. We we would put a um, a routed a carved um, routed edge cove around the whole sign, which would be white. So it kind of finishes it off. Um, the green, like I said, I sent you, there's a PMS color that it's matching on the, on the sketch. And I sent you a, a color sample of that. And on the font, um, I can see what you mean about some of the strokes being a little thin. This is what they came up with design, but I have the um, authority to kind of change it. We could even go with just like a Times Roman, which is kind of similar to that. It's just a little, a little bolder still has the serifs. It's very, very similar to that. It just thickens things up just a little bit. Okay, Kevin, are you? Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with Times Roman. I think that would probably Questions hold. or comments? Um, 
I'm familiar with Times Roman. I think that would probably work just fine. Uh, and I, I think we do, we'll just need to get you know the drawing submitted with the uh, with the edging on. Um, okay, that's all. Uh, all right, Paul. Uh, Paul, do you have any thoughts? No, I'm I'm all set with them. Okay, Mark. Um, yeah, I, I, one quick question as it relates to the, the lettering. Um, are these being carved with a, and this isn't a criticism necessarily, it, it, are they being carved by uh, a CNC machine? Yes. So Kevin, with the CNC machine, I do find that they can get really fine, um, un, unlike hand carving. Correct. And I think most of the signs we're seeing now are being done in this way. So they, they appear to be hand carved, they're incised, but indeed they've been done through a CNC machine process, which allows for a lot more finer detail. I actually like the font as proposed. I think it's it's very elegant looking. Um, so, you know, and if we're to go to Times Roman, that's fine too, obviously that's very acceptable. Um, what, one thing I don't love, and I, I understand we're now gonna have a border introduced on these. I don't love the simply rounded over edge. I, I think these would be honestly more handsome if they had been squared out. It seems like there's an effort to kind of make it look like a quarter board, but there isn't actually any scallop finials, which would be more typical of a quarter board. Um, these feel, I want to, the shape feels a little bit more contemporary versus the, the graphic design and the sign itself. And that simply squaring these off actually with, with the appropriate contrasting frame might be more appropriate. But that, that might be just my opinion, not the other board members. Um, otherwise, I have no concerns over placement, size, or color uh, is fine as well. Certainly being country green is uh, approvable. Thank you. Okay, and Ben? I think that these signs are, uh, are really handsome. I mean, I think um, you know, I like the color. I like their kind of understated approach. Um, I like the font, and I don't really mind the rounded edge if that's the look they're going for. Um, so I'm, I think with the rounded edge painted in white, um, I'm good. Okay. Um, Kadeem, can we go back and look at the, the site plan again, just so that we can kind of identify where each of these, or if there's, uh, if you want to scroll through. Um, the different elevations, like sister ship appears to be maybe on a fence or is it a freestanding sign? Uh, are we, that's a totally are we just a bourbon gatehouse right now? I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. I guess we're doing one at a time. I was thinking more yeah, of a broad but, um, Yeah, some of the other ones are- Let's do it different. sign by sign. Um, so we'll start with gatehouse where we are. Do we want to- Make a motion, um, Mark. You were talking about uh, the, the the ends, and Kevin, you do you want to see? You had asked to see a uh, revised drawing. Yeah, um, I would also support. How do you guys feel? You would want to put together a motion, hold for revisions, or I would also support Mark's uh, you know anybody? motion on the you know square edges. Yeah, so maybe there's a motion to. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. I've lost audio. I can hear you, Chris. But you're frozen. Uh, did, you pick up, did you pick up my comment? I was in support of Mark's correction. I'm in support of Kevin's support of my motion. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am just messaging Mark. It looks like he's actually off the meeting right now, so hopefully he gets back in shortly. Chris, I think, yeah. He's right here. Oh, this sorry, is... not Mark, Chris. Yeah, Doug. We never lose Chris when Kathy does. Either. Sorry, guys, I lost. <laughs> I, I'm back. I, I don't know what's wrong with my iPad. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. So I was, uh, did, were there any motions or votes taken? So why don't I formalize that? I'll just repeat. I, I'll make a motion to approve uh, or hold for revisions, maybe? 
um, with a contrasting border in white and um, squaring off the, uh, the, the sign uh, versus the round over edge. With edge detail? With edge banding, yes. Edge detail. Okay. So this is a hold for revisions motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Uh, ben, are you in favor? No, I like the rounded edge. <laughs> okay. All right, <laughs> All right. Uh, Paul. Hi. And Kevin. Hi. And Mark. Hi. Okay, I'm in favor as well. So, <laughs> Mike, we'll go sign by sign, and I think that uh, we'll likely ask for a master sign plan to be submitted as well. So. Uh, let's go sign by sign and look at each one and see if there's any other comments that are specific to those. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and think that all of them will have similar comments regarding the border and the, the okay, editing, so, uh, detail. So, so just so I'm clear, um, you're gonna, you want a uh, revised rendering showing the, edge, the corners, these are rectangles, square, right? Um, nice clean cut with a a routed sign, uh, routed edge, I'm sorry. And what about the font? Are we keeping the font the way it is? Uh, that wasn't part of the motion. So I think that if you're comfortable thing, making that font work for you or Times Roman would be similar enough. I, I don't, that's that. Uh, okay. That wasn't part of the motion that just passed. So. Okay, I just, because uh, I know we talked about it. I just want to be clear. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. good question. Um, but let's look at, the Robert's house wall sign. Okay. All right. So, so now we're basically looking. So, yeah. Okay. So the Robert's house, same, same thing. There's two signs here. Okay. There's okay. a sign on the, um, the entrance. Let's see. Um, yeah, we have, one over the entrance, and again, same um, same height being the six inches, and the Robert's house is 56 inches um, left to right. We'll do the same, squaring off the ends, um, putting a nice route on it, keeping the font the same, and it looks like we're going to be putting one over the entrance. And like the other one is going Rear of the building. I'm not uh, getting most the applicant. I, we can't hear the applicant. You're okay. cutting in and out for some reason. Okay. I'm sorry. Is that is that better? No. Yes. A moment. Um, and Mike, I might I might cut you off just because we're seeing the application as you're describing. It. So I think we can probably you know let, let, let's yeah. let us. I'll just have the board members comment on what we're seeing on the screen because I think they perfect. If they have a question, we'll let them ask. Um, so. Uh, Mark, do you have any? Uh, yeah, I don't think I have a concern with the main entrance, um, which I think is the India Street location. Um, I did question the other one. Um, I think they're trying to use make the exact same size sign for each uh, entry. And I would, I think that the secondary sign that was shown over the door uh, under construction there should be scaled to the width of the opening, not, not asymmetrical as as shown in this photo um, it should be um, you know probably if that's a three foot wide opening um, closer to 42 inches in length um, not whatever is illustrated here um, and it presumably we mounted to the clapboard um, Maybe it's fine. It's a question of whether we would want to see it mounted on the head casing itself, if that's more appropriate, or if we actually maybe that'll be too cluttered. Maybe it, it looks better just above it. Um, but that's my comment. I think it's it's too long. Should be reduced to be in proportion with the actual cased opening, um, with all the revi revised changes previously discussed on the gatehouse. Thank you. Okay, uh, Ben. I agree with what Mark said. It's that scale for that door. Okay, Paul. I agree with Mark. Kevin. Uh, nothing to add. 
All right. I agree with exactly what Mark said as well. So, Mike, we would suggest that uh, that sign be no wider than the outside of the casings of that uh, of that okay. doorway. So, I'll bring it down to is that fifty six. I'll bring it down to forty two inches as you guys recommended. Okay. Um, all right. Let's move on to the manor house. We make a motion to hold for revisions. Oh yes, please do. Yeah, motion to hold for revisions per comments, uh, reducing, revising it to be consistent with the gatehouse sign and uh, reduce the length to 42 inches. Thank you, Mark. Do we have a second? Second. Thanks, Paul. Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. Aye. Ben. Okay, Paul, thanks. Ben. Aye. And That's Mark. Nice. Aye. And I am as well. Um, can I just ask one, Chris? Can I ask one quick question, please? Yes. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna make both signs the same size at forty two. Is that correct? That way we keep conforming. Uh, if you, I don't think there would be an objection to reducing the other to forty two inches. Um, okay. More right. importantly, we're concerned about the the scale of the back sign. Um, so, what is the length yeah, of the Mark, other one as proposed? If I'm asked. Through you, Chris. Yeah, thanks, Mark. What is the length of that could be? That one is 56. Um, 56 inches. Can we see the entrance again where it's proposed? I, I just question why that's going to look a little honestly small. So, are we talking about the one that's going up the stairs, correct? Uh, yeah, you can't, you're not seeing what we're seeing. So, we're the one we have concerns with the width is the one that's on the back door. The second, okay. I would call the secondary entrance, not the primary entrance. Okay. Yep. That should be reduced to 42. I will okay. say, I think as proposed on the main entry, that scale okay. seems appropriate to that freeze. And I, I don't know that I would necessarily be suggesting a, a reduction um, if what you've illustrated is accurate relative to the um, scale. Yeah. Okay. I'm making an assumption uh, there, but agreed. I, I think we're seeing some white space on either end of that quarter board. So we just, I think that's the mark. If I'm speaking for you, I'm speaking for myself here anyway, that I think it can't be touching the outside edges of that freeze, but I, I like the scale of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Kevin, uh, do you have any, anything to contribute, Kevin? Uh, no, nothing further. Okay. Paul? No. Or Ben? Nothing there to say. Okay. So <laughs> Mike, understand that was that was a size reduction for the back door we were recommending. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, now we're gonna move to the manor house. <coughs> okay. See that. Uh, and Kadeem, how big is that sign? The manor, the manor house is 52 and a half, 52.7. Okay. Uh, Kevin, any comments? Uh, not with location of this. The other uh, comments would apply, but not with location. Okay. Paul? No comments. Ben? Uh, I think I'm looking at this picture and I just feel like what's being shown to us in a, in a photograph is much wider than 52 inches. Um, yep. So I agree. Um, I'm thinking it's actually quite a bit smaller than what we see, which is a good thing, even though the scale that we're looking at now isn't so bad either, but that's probably more in the 80 inches or 70 inches. So um, I don't think this graphic is accurate, but I'm fine with the with the proposal. Okay. Um, uh, Mark? Yeah, I would agree uh, with Ben um, that the graphic does not look accurate, but I actually prefer what's being proposed in the graphic. I feel like the scale of that's a, a more appropriate and in proportion with the scale of that porch. Um, it actually looks like it's probably at least eight inches in height and it's 
that's a wide entrance, that staircase. And it's sitting just inside that. I would, I would suspect that that entrance is at least six or more feet wide. Um, it's uh, 72 inches, at least between maybe those two lights. Um, it's per what is the width proposed again, please? 52 and a half. Yeah. 52, 53. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like not a lot of thought's been given to the size of that sign relative to that porch. I feel like these are, uh, you know, that one could yeah, quite possibly be a little bit larger, but that's that's my opinion. Okay. I don't, I don't think what we're looking at and what's being proposed dimensionally here are the same. I think we, I think we should just hold for 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 drawings then of what they want rather than. Okay. Yeah, I think that we're going to be holding for revisions anyway. So let's, Mike, take that into consideration. The size. Um, it, it, have I skipped? It, it, it okay. seems like they're trying to make them all the same size, but what I'm hearing is that we may not want them all the same size. Is that correct? Right. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I believe so. I just, Mike, I think it's important to make sure that if this sign grows lengthwise and also height-wise for any reason, that it not be, I don't know if this freeze has secondary members on it. We don't want to have... Uh, we want to just take that into consideration that we're not obscuring architectural detail there. But um, as this is coming back for revisions with the border and the ends anyway, um, take a close look at that size, I think is what we're suggesting. Yes, what I'll, as to what, um, I'll see if I can get the, the uh, measurement between the two lights, okay? And then, and then scale it to that, okay? Okay, well, well, yes, just let us know what those dimensions are and when we review it again. Um, so I motion to hold for revisions. Thank you, Mark. Do we have a Sorry, second? Mark. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Ben? Aye. And Mark? Aye. And I am as well. Okay, uh, let's move on to the far away wall sign mm, mm, mm. okay there's that looks like the flag sign which we'll be seeing in a moment what's the oh, okay this is yeah this is the wall sign it's just under the got it got it okay uh, Mike, this appears to be a different approach. Tell us about this. Is, are these applied letters? What are we looking at? Excuse me. Yes. Um, for the letters, yes, we're going to be putting um, six and a half by 55 inch left to right, um, quarter inch um, cut out black letters on the building. In between the windows there. So they're, they're not huge, they're small. Okay. Um, do we have a photograph of this, or is the only elevation the drawings that we're seeing? This is yeah, all the elevation. That's all we have. Okay. Um, I will open this up. Uh, Kevin, do you have any thoughts? Um, yeah, a couple. I, I think I think the location of this is not appropriate at all. It's not near the entrance. Um, I think. Uh, Quarter inch aluminum letters are not appropriate if they want either. Um, I, I think that, any, I guess, given the comment that, that I don't think this is the right uh, placement for it, I don't know how much more to go into, but I, I think that the scale of this at a six and a half inch letter up in the, this far up on a building. Uh, is just going to be minuscule. Um, but again, I don't think this is the right location for it at all. It should be, a, it should be over the door. We have, it looks like we have a porch entrance of some kind. Can't quite tell from the drawings. Um, so that's my comment on, on that. 
Okay, uh, Paul? I would agree with what Kevin said, and probably it's not a good location for the flag either. No. Uh, <clears throat> Mark? I would uh, agree with what's been said. Okay, Ben? Yeah, I agree as well. I think, um, you know, to the applicants, um, benefit, you know, if they can bring us some um, local application or uh, local examples of something similar to this, so we can kind of relate to it a little bit better. But at the moment, I'm not relating to it. It feels more like a ski chalet building or something. There's something not Nantucket about this. But again, I'm, I, I could be persuaded with local examples. I just can't think of any. Yeah, thanks, Ben. And Mike, I, I have to agree with everybody. I, I don't think there are any examples that exist. In fact, I was going to say um, these applied letters are not, they're, they're approvable in rare circumstances or very specific circumstances. Um, every case has been as part of a, a freeze or a fascia of a porch or some way that it related to the entrance of a building. Um, I don't think that this sign location, even if it was a wall sign, it would be questionable as to whether that would be the right spot for a wall sign um, per the guidelines. Uh, and the aluminum letters are certainly a, a non-starter um, per the guidelines. So I think this, uh, this one should be reconsidered in, in a lot of different ways. There's probably a better location, better material, and... Uh, Motion to hold for revisions. Better design. Thank you, Kevin. So, Do it. so I will. Uh, uh, so, for me to make for for me to make some, um, you know, go back to my client and, and make some recommendations and some revisions. So, are you are you maybe suggesting maybe I know we probably need a better picture of the front, okay, so we can actually really see that. And I understand that. Um, would it be, um, what you know, maybe favorable? that we kind of keep the same type of um, carved quarterboard, the green with the white, maybe put it over the entrance. Um, that way we're keeping things consistent of what's going on. Um, instead of putting, like you say, instead of putting the letters on the building, maybe put something, say, I heard somebody say about you know, putting something over the entrance. Um, maybe we can do something that way. Um, are we opposed to type of projection sign coming off the building? Uh, no, the guidelines would allow for projecting signs. Um, I think, you know, we can't design your sign for you during the meeting. I think that this one is just not an approvable sign. So um, I would take a close look at what the guidelines offer and, and just okay. reconsider sort of, you know, the best approach. Um, so what you're saying at or near the public entrance, the quarter board sign, projecting sign, those are all viable options per the guidelines. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm so, going to get a, a feel so okay. we can come back and, and you know, get, get approval because they're, they're opening up soon and we're trying to get this done. All right. Well, um, understood. But, that's uh, but we've got, we're, we're yeah, we're going to just follow our, our procedure. Um, so let okay. me, we have a motion for, uh, to hold for revisions. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. So that was Kevin motioning, Paul seconding. Uh, ben, are you in favor? Favor. Yeah, Mark? Aye. Uh, Paul? Aye. And Kevin? Assuming Kevin's an aye. aye. Okay, thanks. I'm an aye. So uh, we'll hold that one for revisions. <laughs> We have the canvas flag sign for the same building. Um, I, I'm gonna start, Mike, I, the, it's not an appropriate location for a flag sign uh, either. It should be at or near the public entrance. Um, this would be a first as far as I can think of having a, a sign located up on the, or a flag sign coming off the second floor of a building like this. Um, so I'll, I'll go down and let everybody else comment. Uh, Mark? 
Uh, yeah, I'd agree with what uh, the chair said. Okay, uh, Ben. Yeah, again, I'll, I'll, up to the applicant to show us some convincing reason why this is a, an approvable op option. I just, I'm not there at the moment, so I'm an A. Okay, yeah, Mar uh, Paul? I agree, <coughs> excuse me, I agree. And Kevin? Um, yes, I just want to point out a couple of other things that uh, this this isn't a canvas material. It has a it apparently has a canvas header, but it's a poly knit double sided. So that that would probably be something that's going to have a little shimmer to it. Uh, I also think it's highly inappropriate to light a flag. Uh, that would create a moving a moving sign. Um, so, and I think the location of this is totally inappropriate. Um, I, I don't see, frankly, I don't see any way that this could even be revised and I think it should just be denied. That would be my motion. Okay. Um, so denying a flag sign has been motioned. Uh, do we have a second? No. <laughs> uh, okay. So failing a second on that motion, let me, does somebody want to make a motion to hold? Motion to hold for my visions. Just in case they want to put okay. the sign somewhere more appropriate, or you know what I mean? The flag somewhere more appropriate. Why, why deny them right now? You know, they can move the location. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think, so we have a second. Um, thank you. Ben for pointing that out. Mark, you seconded it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Paul, are you in favor? Are we seconding the denial? We're seconding the motion to, oh no, hold for revisions. But no, we voted, we're voting to hold for revisions. Aye. Okay. Um, and Ben? Aye. And Mark? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. Okay, I am as well. So, uh, Advice, Mike, I think is reconsider this building in its entirety. Um, you know, uh, you, I think you might have been onto something thinking about a projecting sign and wall sign combination, but reconsider this, uh, uh, both those applications. Uh, Very good. We'll do all right. Thank you. We'll move on. Yeah, thanks. We'll move to the sister ship fence sign. Uh, give us a little background on this one. This is a, uh, what's the material and the- uh, It's, it's um, the... sign, carb sign that they want to attach to an existing pole. Um, and I don't, I believe it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a small sign, 13 inches by 10 and a half. Um, and it's, you know, just going to be right there at the entrance as they're, as they're walking in. Um, I'm, I'm seeing it sort of attached to a hedge in the photograph I'm seeing. Yeah, Although, I, yeah, I believe there's, there's a hedge in there, but the, the it'd be like a, it looks like they're putting on a post with a light on it, and um, which would be in front of the hedge. Okay, um, I, I think as a matter of defining this sign that would create a freestanding sign application rather than a fence sign uh, application so um which are not allowed uh i will uh, let the board weigh in on this ben um i think it's a really handsome sign i really like the the shape of it and the font i i, I there's some like affinity to it that i like um, but I can't accept the freestanding just sitting on a post with a light over it. Uh, but it has a really interesting nautical kind of vintage feel to it that I, I really like. And I could see it kind of embedded in the privet. Um, you know, during the season, it would look great. I'm worried in the off season, it's going to look when it's all, when the privet is empty, it's going to look really weird. Um, so, you know, I, I see a lot of good, but I don't, I'm not seeing, I don't, I don't know if the longevity is there and clearly the light over it just feels, again, it's nautical, it has a kind of a nice feel to it, but I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble with the freestanding 
post issue. Okay, uh, Mark. Yeah, I'd agree with everything Ben just said. Uh, I think the font sort of reminiscent of something out of the 1930s, which not a bad thing. And uh, I think the sign itself is attractive. I think its armature is is questionable. I think the town does have, we have some signs that do float and privet. And it's actually kind of a cool look, um, but I, I agree that uh, this is gonna look more like a freestanding sign given the thinness of the privet and in winter. And uh, they need to rethink the armature on this. There should be some sort of fence or something introduced to really make this um, work appropriately and in, in accordance with the guidelines. Thank you. Okay, uh, Paul. I would agree with that. I have a question. What is sistership? What is, what is the purpose of the sign? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I'm not real. I, I can't answer that question. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. Uh, then I think it, okay. I, I just agree with everything that's been said. Okay. Uh, Kevin? Uh, I'm surprised nobody's commented about the pink color. I, think I was just going to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 personally, I, I don't see anything really redeeming about this. Uh, I, I don't, we're, you know, once again, we're missing the edge detail on this. So I, I, I can't quite see that. I don't, this is not located anywhere near the entrance that I can tell. Um, certainly with a pole with a light over it is not appropriate. Um, I I, I, I mean, I guess we could motion for revisions, but I don't know how you, I don't know how you revise something that is a freestanding sign. I mean, it, um, it's just kind of frustrating. I think this is an example of something that clearly, you know, people weren't looking at the guidelines. So anyway, that's all I have. Okay. That. All right. Thanks, Kevin. And looking at the site plan there, I am curious i'm seeing the uh oh no i'm sorry back to where we were just that miniature plan there the landscape plan that's in the bottom right of this it looks like the hedge is behind the post is in the sort of foreground of the uh if it's in that red clouded area or in the blue circular area it's not even attached to the hedge it's on the other side of the sidewalk so I think it is clearly a freestanding sign. Um, and uh, yeah, I think, Mike, this sign has to be reconsidered as far as you know what, what its purpose is and what we're trying to uh, direct. Right. Signs are intended to direct people to the location of a business. This doesn't uh, really meet that, I that criteria. Yeah, so, I yes. Um, Good. Yeah, so, I have some additional questions. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I agree with everything that's been said. I, I don't even think, I question that's, if that's even on that property and becomes an off-premise sign. But, um, and I will add, um, I thought it was maybe the registration coming through, but um, I'm not sure I love the pink background. I think I would reconsider a white or linen or something else um, if this is coming back for revisions. Uh, the shield profile doesn't bother me so much. And I do feel like there is a, an implied frame with the border. Um, but the armature has to completely be thought through, which may completely change the design of the sign itself. Um, but I, we, we, we're not seeing anywhere in here, and I guess I'll just ask the question. There, uh, I assume there's a rest, there's a restaurant. I don't even know what the name of the restaurant is in any of this. We've named all the buildings, but I haven't. Have we seen? Is it? This coming? is the this is the restaurant, I believe. So Sister Ship will be the name of the restaurant. Um, yeah. Can we assume that there's going to be? A uh, quarter board coming. I mean, not a quarter board, a menu box or something that's coming with this as well. Um, almost every restaurant seems to have one pop up at some point, and um, I'm not seeing it here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mark. And I, I think that, um, Mike, that should be considered okay. when you're looking at the master sign plan, which will be our, our uh, recommendation. This whole property needs to have basically what you showed in the um, Kadeem keeps showing us as the entire property plan. But um, if there are going to be more signs, menu boxes or um, you know, flags, anything along those lines, they should be on that master sign plan. But um, yeah, I, I'm not sure we're going to give you much direction as to how to 
revise this application, um, we can motion to hold for revisions just to kind of lump it in with everything else. But this one has, uh, at the moment, it's appearing to be a freestanding sign, which is not approvable. So okay. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll consider it as a, uh, is, that, is that the pleasure of the board? Does somebody want to hold for revisions? Motion to, to just... hold for revisions. Second. Okay, thanks. Uh, ben, are you in favor? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. Thank you. And Mark? That's, I appreciate Aye. that. Yeah, thanks. And Paul? Aye. So now I can okay. Now um, I am could as well. you guys just tell me who seconded that motion? I did. Paul. Wolf. Uh, Paul. That was Paul. Paul. Mark? Yeah. Got it. Uh, thank you. All right, we have two more to go. We have a coffee wall sign. Yes. And Kadeem is bringing that up for us to see. Okay. Okay, so that appears to be letters applied vertically to the window casing in red. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, they would be um, hand lettered, hand lettered, um, painted letters, and just identifying coffee window so people can order from the outside okay do we have a kadima do we have a elevation of the building that we can see beside just the window elevation um we don't oh, okay we that's just have this we have that okay well that's something okay. um let's see uh, ben do you have any comments uh, uh i'm not in favor of this it doesn't uh, okay seem doesn't seem appropriate. I don't know what to say. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Paul. Oh uh, yeah. How do you get in? Is there a doorway? Yeah. This is this is a takeout window. This is where people can walk up to the the. Uh, to the it's a takeout window. I believe it is. I think because of COVID and everything, I think they're trying to create that so people can just walk up and grab a cup of coffee. Yeah, maybe a little projecting okay. sign would, would be more appropriate. A projecting sign? I'm sorry? That's a thought. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mark? Yeah, I would agree. I think this has to be held for revisions um, and rethink the signage. I, I agree with what's been said. That's probably not the most appropriate approach in that anywhere from a projecting sign, a small menu box, because I'm sure it's going to be coffee, muffins, lattes, teas, blah 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 waters and that might be more appropriate um i think the location is probably fine it's like the left of the service window that's not you unlike what we have on the strip here so uh, uh, i would hold for revisions and um and those revisions should i would motion to hold for revisions um and they should reflect probably a, a different approach altogether second thank you okay uh let me let Kevin speak if you Sorry. guys don't mind. That's okay. Like just, Kevin, do you have any comments before we? I was feeling so sort of left mind. out. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just, <clears throat> I'm not sure if, if coffee is supposed to be the name of this shop or if it's simply the one of the offerings that they ha it has to offer. Um, but I think it would set a, a, a very odd precedent if people started putting what they what their offerings were to just paint it on the outside of the building so i'm not in favor of this okay um thanks. so we have a motion to hold for revisions uh that's been seconded ben are you in favor of that yes and paul hi and mark hi and kevin hi okay Chris has a comment. Thanks. It might yeah. To, yeah. To, to follow up on Kevin Kevin's comments, instead of saying coffee, it might say coffee shop. Yeah. 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 Right. I, and I think, think Mike, to give you some direction, I think what uh, you know Mark was <laughs> suggesting a menu box, which is a sign and could be appropriate for a location like this, would most likely belong where this 
sign uh, is shown, which I'm assuming would help their business. And then finding some other place to identify, some other way to identify that this is a coffee shop, maybe the menu box saying coffee, but I, I think take those comments from the board if I'm reading them correctly. But could um, um, over the window on that fascia, um, maybe doing something like we've been doing on all the houses, maybe putting like a, a green with the white carved letters, coffee, coffee shop, um, up in that. I, and again, I'm just trying to think of some different um, alternatives to send over to you guys. Um, maybe that might be the way to go over the window. Because um, it'd be on the fascia, just like all the other signs that we're proposing. Does that sound favorable to you guys? Sure, if I may. Uh, yeah, thanks, Mark. I, I agree. I mean, that sort of was on my mind as well. I think something along those lines is more, you know, uh, appropriate. Okay. Anybody else Thank on the board have a comment or reply? Um, I, I actually prefer the more secondary, understated approach of something maybe left of the window and and smaller. I think something up and over the window might be more pronounced than we'd want to see. Um, and again, I think we're going to end up seeing a menu board here for sure, which is another sign. And so maybe merging them into the same sign might make sense. Uh, uh, <clears throat> if you look at the application real closely, they actually show a menu plaque on top of the counter. Correct. So I think they are intending to have a menu of some kind. Okay. Yeah, the dude bring in, bring in and out. We'd probably put yeah. it out there. So that just needs to be worked out, one or the other combined or something. I I just want to make a couple of other overall comments for the applicant and um, the applications themselves uh, indicated no lighting. However, there were a couple of individual ones that showed lighting, um, and I believe we said that both of those were not appropriate. Um, I just want to make sure that lighting doesn't show up at a later time or you have some you want to put in that we don't know about. Um, and uh, uh, also just on this master sign plan there, are, I, I know that there are other signs on the building now. There's a rather large one that says Robert's collection. There's another directory sign out in front on Center Street. I just if they're going away, that's great. Um, but we, we sh I just want to make sure we know what's staying and what's leaving because I think we're having some overlap with other applications that I want to make sure we understand that. So that's all. Thank you. All right. All right. Good point. Uh, we have the meeting house wall sign that we have not reviewed yet. Let's just look at that. Okay, so that's going in this side door. Where is that on the property, Kadeem? Okay, oh, so that's between the, the two alley, buildings. if you will. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anybody have any comments other than the general comments regarding these? Putting a border on, squaring it off. Um, Seeing okay. no comments. Um, what's on, okay. What is so the, Mike, I think, oh yeah. What's on the Go other, ahead. what's at the main entrance? Is there another sign there or? I don't understand. I think that's the far away. I think that's the building that had the far away um, oh. wall sign and flag sign on the front of that. Yeah. Oh, Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. We're seeing two different buildings in this. The gatehouse and the meeting house are two di different buildings. So I believe the meeting house was where we saw that uh, far away sign. Okay. Correct. Correct. As well as the co as the coffee sign. Um, Correct. As well. So. But okay. So, uh, do we want to just hold this one for revisions? Real motion for revisions. Order. Thanks. We have a second. Second. 
Thanks, Kevin. Uh, Paul, are you in favor? Aye. And Ben? Um, Mark? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. I am as well. So, okay. Mike, that brings us to the end of your packet. Yes. Um, hopefully we've given you some, some direction. And yes. we'll look forward to seeing a new app, new set of uh, designs when you're ready. Okay. Um, can, and so, as I get them in, so I can, is the next meeting next week? Is that the next meeting? Uh, we do have a meeting next week. Kadeem, what's the deadline for submission on that? Um, so you would want to submit to us by the latest, if you, um, by the latest, probably tomorrow, honestly. Right. Although I'll, I'll, I'll check with my clients, see if they can get me some, um, some photos. I, and you know, I really appreciate the time you guys have been putting into this for, for me. It's, it's hard for me and I, and I do apologize. I, I haven't been there. So, um, I haven't really had an, a chance to really take a look at the building. So hopefully, they have they've moved along a little more since I um, presented this and sent them in, so I can get some better pitches and more, better overview pitches too of the buildings. So I think that will help everybody. Um, so on the master plan, it's just pretty much submitting everything. And I know you did ask: um, Are there existing signs on the property? Are they staying? Are they being removed? I know about the lighting. Um, so is is it pretty much just resubmitting new application? With, with all yes, the it, folk about. Yes, each one of the signs would have a, a revised application based on right. our comments. And then there should be a new application, which would just be an overlaying master sign plan for the property, which basically is like the property plan you submitted, which has all of the different um, uh, locations marked on it. And if there are other signs that exist already or that might be future considerations, it would behoove you to include those so that it's the master plan. It tells the, the owners and any future tenants what is approvable without having to go back and reconsider all the signs. Great. Um, very good. Thank you very much for your time. And um, we'll get the, I'll, I'll try to get these in by tomorrow. If not, we'll talk to you the next meeting after that. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. All right. Bye. All right. Okay. Um, nice work, everybody. Uh, we have enforcement on the agenda. Kadeem, do you want to weigh in on that, or should we wait for Kathy? Um, I really know nothing about it. Uh, Kathy did not okay. leave me any notes for enforcement. All right. We'll discuss that more at the next meeting. Um, and then we have other business, if applicable. Uh, does anybody have any comments on sign guideline updates? Hey, Chris, we do have a, a, an attendant waiting to talk about enforcement oh. stuff. Oh, thank you. You're right. I apologize. Thanks for reminding me. Thank um, you. Yeah, so what the notice we had gotten is that the signs for um, the Alliance to Protect Nantucket's Economy weren't supposed to go up until... 30 days before the town meeting. And so we just wanted to apologize. We weren't aware of that uh, rule. And so we just wanted to apologize for putting them up early and see how we should proceed. Okay. Um, well, well, thank you. And thanks for uh, listening in on the, the length of this meeting so far. Um, I think um, generally speaking, the, the guidelines allow for 30 days um, and, and that, you know, the, the town meeting being more than 30 days away, it was apparent that that was going to be the issue um, or you would be having to take them down well ahead of the vote. Um, does anybody have any other comments to, to make or suggestions? Uh, okay, uh, I think. I, I, yeah, Paul. I, yeah, hi. Yes, Paul. Uh, I, I think the, so long as they have the message. Uh, at this point, we're, what, four days or five days away from 30 days away. I, I don't think we should ask them to take them down. But in the future, it's very important. Thank yeah. you. We appreciate that. And we definitely will 
we'll keep that in mind in the future and definitely follow those guidelines now that we are aware. Now, okay. let me ask Thanks, Ariel. one more question. I saw a new sign this morning. Your signs, Ariel, are for what? Um, they're from the, the Alliance to Protect Nantucket's Economy. They're to vote no on Article 90 against restricting. Is that the um, short term short -term rentals? Is that the yes. short term rental? Okay, yes. all right. There's a new sign on the corner by the high school this morning in bright yellow or red or both about the uh, Surfside crossing issue. Oh, so, yeah. But that's not yours. That, no, that's not us. Ours are blue and white and uh, kind of nautical looking. Yeah, I, I've seen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, well, thanks, Ariel. I mean, ultimately, the way that the guidelines uh, work, you've received a courtesy notice. Um, future violations could go into the, uh, the enforcement phase of getting a ticket. Uh, our board doesn't issue the tickets, but... Um, yeah, you know, you're aware of the situation, so we appreciate you being uh, being here, and we'll just assume if you have more things to post, they'll be within 30 days of the votes. Great, thank you so much. All right, thanks. Uh, so, we go to the next item. Then we did have this. Is there any sign guideline update discussion that? Uh, Members want to contribute? I have nothing Seeing new one. on there. Okay. Um, okay. We have the signage at the Thomas Macy warehouse. Any discussion yeah, there? Chris, I'll, I'll quickly speak to that. I just, I realized afterwards they had really not directly addressed the removal of the original Macy Tom, the Thomas Macy warehouse sign. And, um, and I went back to the application. I saw that they did Photoshop out and put brick where that sign was. Uh, afterwards, I walked by the building. <clears throat> that sign is not historic uh, whatsoever. It's actually plywood and uh, had a screened, uh, it wasn't even a hand painted sign, it was sort of screened on. It's all peeling off now, it's a mess. <clears throat> so um, I think any concerns I had previously, I just didn't know enough about it and it wasn't discussed in, the, in our meeting, but having gone back and observed the sign itself, it clearly is, and I did look at, up some old photos and that sign does not show up in photos of that on that building back in the 60s or 70s uh, it came came much later and is clearly of more modern construction so um i don't i don't know that i'm raising any new concerns at this point thank you all right thanks mark uh do we have a, any just I have a, okay i just want to add to that um i uh I was I was chatting with Betsy Tyler the other over the weekend, who you know does a lot of house histories and so forth. Anyway, she she recalled that sign of, of, of having been there quite a long time. I guess what I what I'm what I'm concerned about is that we had an application submitted that was not was not a was for whatever reason was not honestly didn't it didn't tell us what that there was something being removed. If that had been the sign on, you know, Pacific National Bank, or if that had been the sign on one of the drugstore fronts, or if more recently, if that had been a sign for the club car, I think we would have raised some concerns. Now the club car sign is made up, I think is probably made out of plywood and not well constructed, but it is one that we maintain. And I think, you know, contributes to the character um, I, I, you know, in hindsight, had I known that that other sign had been there, I would have been more in favor, you know, of rehabbing that sign. I think it looks more appropriate. Um, and, uh, I, I feel like the notion of doing it, you know, stamping out a branded sign for each of those, for each of these locations, um, this is a case where we would be, you know, eliminating an old sign to put in, you know, new signs across the whole system. And I, I just, I don't think it enhances the character of what we're trying to achieve. And I, I, I don't know what we can do about it at this point, but I, I think it, I think it should be, you know, I think it should be relooked at, frankly. Um, it, 
it's an app. We were making a decision based on inaccurate information, and I don't feel that that's fair to us or the, you know, what we're trying to do. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Um, procedurally, I'm not sure what authority we have. We are going to see a revised application, am I correct, for the Whaling Museum? Weren't they going to come back with the gift shop signs uh, as a new application? I think we yeah, held I think you're right that they're, we're going to see them again. So we could whether they've already begun construction on this sign is another story, but um, yeah, I, I, I also wonder, I, Kevin, I agree with what you're saying, but I wonder, you know, every time that we're reviewing an application, we don't necessarily see what the old sign, it's not part of the application to see what sign is being replaced. Um, and maybe it should be, but it's not. And, and then I guess it just calls into question at what point does the sign become so historic that it should be considered um, so I agree with you. It's, it's a sign that looked good on the building, at least in the photographs and that had character, um, which it's sad to see that character changed, but I'm not sure procedurally what we could do to, you know, change how we look at applications unless we required a photograph of existing well, I, signage for every application. I guess I think it's worth finding out what, I, well, first you can't, I mean, it's, there's demolition of things that happen all the time. And uh, uh, usually when things are gonna be demolished from a building, you need to tell the HDC what you're gonna demolish before you demolish it. Uh, and I, 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 don't think it's, I, I don't think it's incumbent upon us to know exactly every sign that's out there or what's being removed or what's not. I, um, but I, I think it's worth understanding it, at least for, for for the next time maybe is um, I wouldn't have voted the way that I voted based on the way that the application was submitted and I don't think that I, I guess I'd like to find out what the procedure is to you know to rehear this because it, it it it's on false information or not accurate information whatever you want to call it I'm not saying that it was intentional but it, I voted on it with you know the wrong information and I don't uh I I'd like to find out what we do I don't know how we do that if that's a town council question or a I'll, full board question I, or I don't know it, it, it mark this reminds me of what we just looked at at the Roberts house I there was there would have been some value in that application and I think we touched on it in terms of signage that's already pre-existing to um what's being proposed and and when we submit as architects designs, we have to we document what's pre-existing before we submit a revision. So you can compare what's there to what's being proposed. And, yeah. and I think that's fine that we request that information with, with the signage. I think there would have been some value even on the Roberts House collection to see all the existing signs to see how successful or not successful those signs were. It would have, I think, aided us in terms of scale or location and so on with the new signs. And um, I think that's, that should have been applied to uh, the warehouse. They did make an effort to conceal. They removed the sign graphically from their application. So they made efforts to modify their application to reflect the change, but didn't address it to us uh, directly. We didn't ask the question. We forgot that there was one there. I think there is value in knowing what Sarah could at least be for the dialogue. I don't know that it would have changed my vote because now seeing that sign in that specific um, application, it was more contemporary and um, currently falling apart. Um, so maybe what they're doing is fine. I have concerns about the branding. That's a whole separate discussion. But um, but I think asking for pre-existing information is is useful um, for us. I think it only aids the applicant and um, the, this review committee. Okay. Thanks. Um, Paul or Ben, do you guys have any comments? I think if we're uh, seriously concerned about it, it's my understanding that what Mark saw is the new sign that we supposedly approved? No, it's the original Macy Warehouse sign. Oh, I see. Okay. It's still up, but All right. barely. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have any comments. Okay. All right. Um, 
Let's move on to possible vote of construction letter. So I unfortunately I, I have to think... leave. Sorry. Okay, Mark. Um, well, I don't think we've got a construction letter to vote on. So why don't we hold that until the next meeting? Um, next meeting is next Tuesday, 9 a.m. Does anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? Move to adjourn. Second. Do we have a second? Thanks, Mark. Uh, ben, are you in favor? Favor. Kevin? Aye. And uh, Mark? Aye. Thanks, guys. And Paul? Thanks, Chris, guys. I, um, Chris, I'm if favor. you don't mind sticking yes. around, I just have a few things for you. Second. Okay. See you, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks. Uh, so, Chris, just for next week, should I keep uh, signed guidelines on the agenda? Uh, sure. I don't think, I think that those were added just so that if we decided to discuss them, it was posted so that. Okay, uh, so should, I, should yeah. we just keep all four of those on for next week as well? Um, I think you can take the Macy warehouse off. That's been discussed. Okay. Um, and if we need to do something about pre-existing conditions, we can um, do it during the guidelines discussion. Okay, easy enough. That was everything. Awesome. Thank all right, thanks. Much, Good take care. See ya. You too, bye. And...